Imagine a vast, sun-scorched landscape, a desolate expanse where life seems impossible. For decades, this region of Africa has yielded nothing but dust and despair. But beneath the cracked earth lies a resilient spirit, a flicker of hope that refuses to be extinguished. Welcome to Trending Facts TV. Today we are exploring an ambitious project that aims to combat desertification and revive millions of hectares of dying land, a groundbreaking initiative known as the Great Green Wall. This monumental vision stretches across the entire width of Africa, a vast wall of trees standing as a shield against the enriching Sahara Desert. When fertile soil degrades and deserts expand, the consequences are devastating. Communities are forced to abandon their homes, leaving behind a trail of hardship. The Great Green Wall offers a chance to rewrite this story to reclaim the land and restore hope for the future. The journey starts in a village on the brink of a barren wasteland. Here, the World Food Program, in short WFP, has embarked on a daring mission to transform this desolate landscape back into a place of life. The Great Green Wall is a monumental vision, a vast wall of trees stretching across the entire width of Africa. Its purpose is to halt the southward expansion of the Sahara Desert, which has grown by a staggering 10% in the last century. Let's delve into the project on the ground and witness firsthand how the WFP is restoring degraded landscapes. Initially, the community doubted the project's feasibility, but through education and collaboration, they became enthusiastic participants. Over the past few years, the WFP has rehabilitated a staggering 3 lakh hectares of land. This particular site contributes 30 hectares to the Great Green Wall. The process of bringing this barren land back to life is gradual and requires a deep understanding of the local environment. The first step involves creating crescent-shaped pits called half moons. These indigenous water harvesting structures capture and retain rainwater, rehydrating the soil and making it suitable for planting. The project prioritizes local, time-tested methods. For example, they use indigenous drought-resistant crops like sorghum and millet, perfectly adapted to the Africa's climate. This ensures food security while promoting ecological balance. These pits are typically around 4 meters in diameter and one person can dig one in a single day. With the land rejuvenated, it's time for the next phase. Planting lines of trees and creating horticultural beds diversifies the landscape and provides additional food sources. Moringa trees, pigeon peas, and even fruit trees like guava and citrus are all part of the plan. The planting pits for these trees are specially designed to maximize the growth potential. This method mirrors natural processes fostering a healthy and productive environment. The Great Green Wall isn't just about the environment, it's about people too. Previously, young people from the village were forced to leave their homes in search of work, a constant drain on the community. But with the success of WFP project, hope has blossomed. Omar, a young man from the village, used to travel hundreds of kilometers each year to harvest apples in Spain. Now, thanks to the year-round vegetable production on the revived land, Omar can stay home and contribute to his village development. Of course, the project hasn't been without its challenges. Droughts and unpredictable weather patterns are a constant threat, but the community has shown remarkable resilience. They have adapted their techniques, drawing on traditional knowledge passed down through generations. For example, during periods of drought, they might plant deeper trenches around trees to conserve water. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the heart of the Great Green Wall project. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more eye-opening explorations and let me know your thoughts on the Great Green Wall in the comments below.